Hey guys, we are going to talk today about why when we add or subtract fractions, the denominators have to be the same because it's so annoying, right? Like, why do I have to get these the same? Why can't I just add them? Well, I'm going to show you why today. And I'm going to show you with these cute old tiles. Okay, here's my hole. And then these are all fractions of that hole. Okay, so I'm going to be using those. Okay, so we're going to look at this two ways. We're going to look at it on this side. We're going to have the wrong way. Because I don't want you to be like, oh, she told me I could do it like this. No, this is the wrong way on this side. And I bet you can guess we've got, we'll do the right way over here. Okay. Okay. So if I wanted to try to do this just by adding, I'm like, I don't care about the denominators. I'm sure it'll be fine if I just add them. I, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to add one plus one gives me two, right? And four plus six gives me 10. Sweet, I'm done. Okay, maybe you're done, but it's not correct. And I'm gonna show you why, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've got one fourth plus one sixth, right? And according to this way, when I add them, I should get two tenths, okay? But I'm so sorry to tell you, this is what two tenths looks like, people. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even close, right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that way does not work, right? But let us look at the correct way, okay? So over here, when I'm adding these, I need to get the denominators the same. So I think what is the smallest number they both go into? The smallest number they both go into is 12, okay? So I want two fractions with the denominator of 12 that are equal to these fractions, okay? If you need some more adding and subtracting fraction videos, I will link a video in the corner, okay? But I want one fourth to be over 12. So what do I do to four to get it to be a 12? Well, I multiply by three, okay? But if I multiply by three on the bottom, I need to multiply by three on the top because then I'm just multiplying by three over three, which simplifies down to one, okay? So I'm really just multiplying by a one. It's just a weird looking one. Okay. And so I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value. And I'll show you that with the tiles as well. So when I multiply these, multiply these, I get one times three gives me three and four times three gives me that 12. And let me show you. So I am saying that one fourth is equal to three twelfths, right? So let's see, there's my one fourth. Here is my three twelfths. Oh, look at that. It just lines up beautifully, right? So feeling pretty good about that. Now the one sixth. What do I multiply six by to get 12? Well, I multiply it by two, right? But I got to multiply the top as well. So it's two over two. So one times two gives me two. Six times two gives me 12. So I am saying that one sixth is equal to two twelfths. And we are looking pretty good there. Okay. So now when I add these, the denominator stays the same, right? It's still 12. So my denominator stays 12. And then I add the numerator. So three plus two gives me five. So I believe that is my answer. Let's go ahead and check. One fourth plus one sixth. Here come my cute little twelfths, five twelfths. And look at how beautifully that lines up, okay? All right. I hope this helped. If it did, if you could give this video a like, I sure would appreciate it. I'm sorry. Denominators have to be the same. I know it would be nice if they didn't have to, but it's just kind of one of those things. <laughs> okay. But hopefully this made sense. Thanks. Bye.